Uh, long story short, financial crisis hit back in 20, 2009. Everything went, uh, everything basically stopped working specifically in this NGO that we were running. And uh, over an 18 month process, I sort of wound up leading a transformation. Uh, essentially restarting the whole thing. Um, wow. It worked out, worked out pretty well in a duplicatable way as well because uh, I, I knew I would be moving to Sweden so nothing could be tied to me in that sense. Uh, so we came up with a way that uh, could quickly, uh, quickly sort of onboard new people and sort of uh, yeah, create that kind of function. Only problem was I didn't really know what specifically it was that uh, had worked this time. Mm. Because we had tried lots of stuff before that didn't work. <laughs> um, so when I moved to Sweden, I had those questions bumping around. Uh, I also joined that same organization here in Sweden, but uh, I didn't have any better answers. So sort of uh, as a way of uh, getting, pro getting to the professional spec level here in Sweden, I, I wound up uh, getting a degree in occupational psychology, organizational psychology. Took a real deep dive into group facilitation, specifically with working with uh, conflicts, um, both simple conflicts between people, but also in uh, com complex environments. And then when I finally joined the work market here, I quickly realized that uh, sort of the profession that was the obvious fit, maybe, uh, the HR. Uh, I, I spoke with some HR managers that flat out told me, like, if you're, if you're thinking about this seriously, you're going to have to look at Agile. Mm, interesting. 